It is a very early August 17th, 2018 at about 2 10 a.m. Uh, I originally set up my camera because uh, I needed something for the streaks on Snapchat and then as I was looking at the little LCD screen I was like wow that's actually a pretty good shot the lighting is okay and um I just thought to myself this looks like a very like intimate setting. I just thought like this this looks like a good setting to have like a like a deep talk with the camera. And uh, with senior year over, I haven't been able to have a chance to talk with the camera in a long time, just like us two like this. And today was actually the first day of school for my school district, and it also happened to be the one year anniversary of the time where I sat down over there at my desk, beginning the video to my senior year, where I was like, hey everybody, welcome to the new video, or should I say, welcome to senior year. Um, so that just got me thinking, because all of my friends who are still in high school, who are about to become seniors or whatever grade, they are moving into this next chapter of their lives. Because I remember when I was a senior, I was moving into the year where everything was going to happen. I was going to be going to my final prom, I was going to be graduating obviously, I was going to be doing a lot of things. I was now the leader, I was now the leader of the school, and I knew that I had to step up so I could be a good role model for all of my underclassmen. Underclassmen like freshmen. And I just think to myself, everyone is going into their senior year of high school while I am beginning my freshman year of college. In about nine days, I move in. So it just got me thinking about moving into the next chapter of our lives. Because this is a transition for everybody. This is the time of the year where everyone is starting something new. Whether it be a new school like me, whether you're going far away, or if you're staying local or as simple as just going the next grade up at your school. There's obviously a lot of things that you have to do in order to make this proper transition into the next chapter of your life. For me, it's going to be a lot more so than my friends who are now becoming seniors because I'm actually moving out of my house, this house that I've lived in for about three years now. I'm going to be moving out of it and I'm going to be living on my own, I'm going to be independent, I'm going to be having a roommate at the same time. You know, when you graduate high school, adults always hit you with that question, so what are you going to do now? And then, you know, obviously I had my plan, I'm going to be going to my college, and I'm just going to continue my studies there. I feel like it hasn't hit me yet, but now that I'm in the final, like, nine days of me moving in, it's starting to slowly approach me, and it still hasn't fully hit me, Maybe when I moved in, maybe long after I moved in, sometime I'm going to realize, wow, I'm actually on my own. I was just doing a little Google search about starting the next chapter in your life, and I found this thing from success.com saying, starting a new chapter in life, here are seven ways to make the change positive. So, number one, carefully plan your first month and shake up your routine when you do it. All right, so, the first month of when I'm going to be living in my dorm, uh, I actually move in earlier than everyone else because classes start at September 10th, which I know is very late. The reason I'm moving in early is because I'm involved with marching band and so band camp and all these rehearsals take place before school so we can be prepared for the season. And when they say to carefully plan your first month, obviously in order to plan you have to do things prior to that. So lately I have been doing a lot of rehearsing on my own. I'm going to be on the drum line. I made the tenor drums which has uh, always been my favorite drum that I've played on the drum line. Uh, you might have seen videos of me playing it before and I've started to memorize the music and just prepare myself for this next month that I'm going to be doing because for the first term my school is on trimesters. It's just all going to be marching band rehearsals. Uh, I believe on Mondays and Thursdays I have marching band rehearsal from sometime and it goes until I believe 8.20 p.m. So obviously there's a lot of preparation and work that the students have to do outside of class and that is exactly what I've been doing. So I have been carefully planning for the next month ahead. Number two, do something out of the ordinary. When they say do something out of the ordinary, I am assuming that they're talking about stepping out of your comfort zone because as you're going off to a new school or new wherever you're going, you're going to be meeting new people so this is your chance to do something that you have always been afraid of doing and I feel like I already have found my place at this school mainly because I've already done a lot of activities there. I performed there many times, I just got done with the musical and I know a lot of people who are going there. A lot of my close, close friends are going there. Some people living in the same dorm as me or across the street, across the other street. But obviously I'm going to be meeting more people. And that is what I'm very excited about too. 
Number three, take off your hero cape. So, I'm, I'm guessing what they mean by this. Hold on, let me read it. The first sentence after it is, you can't do this by yourself, which is entirely true. Although it's good to be self-reliant and knowing how to fend for yourself in certain things, and of course moving off to a dorm means independence. And while that's great and all, you also have to know that there are so many people around you, so many supporters, friends, all those people out there who are there for you, who are always there to help with anything. And that kind of goes to what I was saying before, I have all my right friends around me. Because it's true, no matter how independent and self-reliant you can be, you can't do everything by yourself. And with that comes a lot of acceptance, because like it says right here, but accepting support is a healthy part of relationships with others. Let a friend or family member know when you are having a tough day or afternoon. And I am fortunate enough to have a lot of friends and important people in my life who have already been that person for me, people who I could go to whenever I'm having a tough day. Number four rediscover what you enjoy. So by rediscovering what I enjoy, I am going to be doing a lot of things next year at college. Like I said in the birthday vlog, I'm going to be doing choir, theater, and marching band. Out of those three, there is one specific one that I have not done in a long time, which is marching band. I mentioned earlier in this video that I have made the drum line this year, and I actually have not been in a drum line in I think, was it two years now? Drumline has always been something that I really, really enjoyed. So I am very excited to be getting back into things and I could already see myself on the marching field after two years of being off of it, just looking out into the crowd, being underneath the lights at the stadium and remembering why exactly I do marching band. And it's not just me, just like how I am going back to marching band after a long time of not doing it, there are a lot of people who are doing the same exact thing with other activities. Like for example, a friend that used to do cheerleading who hasn't done it in a couple years, they finally found this opportunity to rediscover what they enjoy. And it really plays a big role in moving into this next chapter of your life. Because as we make this transition, we obviously have a lot of time, we're gonna be independent, we're going to be living on our own so we're going to have a lot of free time so obviously we want to fill that free time with things that we enjoy like marching band and cheer and it's very special to us because both of us haven't done marching band in a long time we haven't done cheerleading in a long time so it's very special that we have seen this as an opportunity to be able to go back and do something that you used to really enjoy and this is our opportunity to get back into those things that we love number five be kind to yourself when you have a low moment. This really goes for any moment in your life, not when you're just going into a new chapter. Being kind to yourself when you have a low moment. Don't beat yourself up whenever you have something going on in your life because this is a big step that everyone is going to be taking when you're moving into a new chapter. So of course you could expect some little minor setbacks or things that might happen along the way and that's completely fine, that's normal, it's a part of the process. And this goes back to having the right people in your life who are there to help you through everything. You know, having those people who you could talk to and be able to sort out your problems with and so it's very important to have those people in your life and I'm just fortunate enough like I said to have them going to the same exact college as me I'm having all my right friends around me number six contribute to something bigger than you a new college a new community which means a lot of new opportunities to do whatever you want and that includes helping out in stuff like charities shelters you know things like that Although this moment in your life is about you while you're making this transition, at the same time, in those moments when you're completely self-focused, it's still good to just turn it upside down by helping people around you. And like it says on this website, your definition of bigger may be helping those in your community or your extended family or providing an opportunity for those that work in your business. And finally, we have number seven, which is rewrite your story. This is probably the most important one out of the seven on this list. This is the moment in your life when you are venturing off, you're about to become your own person, you no longer have your parents who are going to be telling you to like eat dinner or do your homework, you are completely on your own. Like it says, this is your chance to do something that you have always wanted to do. Rather than look back and miss what has changed, think about what you can do now that you couldn't do before. It's never too late to start your own business, write your first book, begin a new career, or volunteer at the profit you've always admired, go back and get the degree you've always wanted. The years will go by regardless, so you might as well be where you want to be as they do. When I was a senior in high school and when the college search began for everyone, I was always asking people, where are you going to be going to college? There are just so many things out there waiting for you. There are so many opportunities for you to just come and get, and those opportunities are just waiting for you. This is your time to rewrite your story. I remember I was talking to one friend and she was talking about New York City. And she was talking about like, yeah, even though this is going to be a big stretch for me, I'm going to be moving from our city all the way to New York. It's going to be big, but you know, 
it's me who I'm going to be worrying about. I'm going to be going off to college. So I feel like if there's a time in my life where I want to do what I want, this would be that moment. This is my opportunity to finally choose where I want to go off to a place where I love. I think this point right here about rewriting your story, I think it speaks for all seven of the things listed here. And not only rewriting your story location wise, but also rewriting yourself as a person, who you want to be going into this next chapter, you know? Oftentimes when people are about to begin a new chapter in their life, they want to try something new. They want to reinvent themselves. Obviously, you should always stay who you are as a person. You should never change for anyone. But if this is something that you've been wanting to do for a long time, if you're not happy with who you are, if you want to become someone, this might be your opportunity to do that exact thing. And this transition period of your life can be very scary for a lot of people. Whether you're going to be moving across the city to go study somewhere or if you're going to be staying right where you are, either way, it can be scary for everyone. Like I said, I just realized that I'm going to be moving out of this house in nine days. And you know, I just look around my room thinking like, wow, I've had so many memories here, so many great moments, so many not so great moments. It's all going to be moving off to my dorm, and I cannot wait to begin. I'm super excited to be beginning this next chapter in my life. So if you're watching this video and you are currently making that transition time in your life right now, I really hope that those seven points in that article were able to speak out to you in some certain way, whether it be all seven of them or just one of them, it doesn't matter. I hope that whatever problem you might have been dealing with was cleared up, you got more understanding of it or whatever it might have been, because really you are not alone. Like I said, this is the time of the year where everyone's going to be making a transition with their lives because starting a new chapter in your life, it could be sad, it could be happy, scary, exciting, and I'll be working working on these things right along with you. So let's do this. So yeah, this was kind of a different style video of mine. Like I said, it wasn't even planned. It just happened because I thought that this setting looks cool. And I don't know, if it's 2 in the morning, you're bound to start thinking about life, you know. I'll see you guys later.